welcome back guys in this topic we will try to understand java return type okay so if you try to remember when i was talking about a very uh, basic definitions about the java i was talking about the return type here we'll try to understand what does mean by return type okay so what happens is in java whenever you write any method that method has a return type even though you don't want any return type still you need to follow the convention you need to write void return type so when you write a void which means your method is not going to return anything so in this example if you if you see here in example 1 as i said the first line of the class is nothing but your uh, package name okay this is your package name this is your class name now in the class you have first data type is equal to double then you have a string then you have integer float long character and boolean so these are the data type you have then what you have you have array type of data and you have class type of data so this we call it as non primitive whereas uh, except than this okay except than this this a string other we call it as primitive data type right a string will come under non primitive right so here we will try to understand one by one what happens is if you look at my uh, first example what we have is public double get d return d what does mean by that so when your method signature has the return type double right when your method a signature has the return type double your method should return double data type so your method should also return double data type right yeah so your method should return double data type so here if you if you see here your method should be double data type right? but what happens when you try to return float still this method will work because double has higher data range than the float so that can work okay similarly when we have a method and method signature has return type as a string your method should return a string what does mean by s1 so when i say s1 s1 is nothing but test1 right so s1 is nothing but test1 which is nothing but this guy is nothing but a string right so you are returning the string again public int get i so i is nothing but your integer so you are here your method has integer return type so your method should return integer right similarly when you have a method which has signature return type signature as a float your method should return float when you have a long another method your method should return long when you have method with character your method should return the character when you have method as in boolean it should return b so what does mean by return b if you look at here the b is nothing but boolean data type which has value is equal to true right similarly when you have a method what is the method return type here get example one it is the example one and what is the example one if you look at here it's a class type so when your method has the return type as a class type your method should return the object of that class okay or reference of that class so if you look at here the non primitive data type example 1 so what is this a small example one type it's a class type it's a class type because the example one is the class so it's a class type so your this method should return the class type because the method signature return type is the class type again the method when you have a method which has return type as an integer of array then what your method should return integer of array and what is that return array return array if you look at it's a array right array is equal to 20 30 40 so it's a array so your method should return the array right so we will try to understand this with the eclipse example and it will be clear for you guys what exactly why do you need to return the same data type what happens when you don't return that we will see that 
So look at here, the same example we have in the Eclipse, right? And we have this data type double, a string, integer, float, long, character, boolean, and array type of data type, and then class type. So here, the very first example, we have double, get d, d. So what happens when I will not return anything here, right? Let me comment this, single line comment. You are getting a compiled time error. The reason being is, whenever you are writing a method, which has a return type, except then void, you need to return it. If you do not do that, you will get a compiled time, compiled time error. The same method, if I will write like this, and if I will just change to void, and I cannot create duplicate method, so I have to write get d1c, here no error. Why not no any error? Because your return type is the void. So when you have a void, which means you don't want to return anything. But when you have return type as a double, you have to return the double type. Otherwise, you will get an error. So you have to have, right? This I was talking about. Now what happens is, uh, in the data type, double has very large number. I mean, double can store very large number, right? So, double, if you, if you see here, double can accept 0.09f, which is nothing but float. So, you can return float also. When your method has the return type double, you can return the float also. Why? Because double can accept the float. Because the double has bigger size than the float. Okay. In fact, when you try to return here integer 10, this also will not get any problem. Right. But what is the issue here? When you try to return 10 here, when your method return type is a double and you are trying to run 10, 10 is nothing but integer data type, right? You are trying to return in the double. So what problem you will get? Let me tell you what problem you will get. Make a main method here. MAIN control a space bar. Click on the first line. Main method will get created. Now, example one. Create the object class name obj is equal to new class name parenthesis close. This is the object. Now, you call that method obj dot get d. Okay? and print that s y s o just print the data whatever you are getting as a return type so right click run as java application the problem is this you are getting the 10.0 because it's a double so double will come with the decimal point right that is the reason whenever you have to return the integer data type you should not use double you can use long, you can use integer, you can use sort, you can use byte, it's up to you, but do not use double, right? I think it is clear for you. Whenever you have, whenever you have return type as an, as an float or as a decimal value, you go for double, right? For uh, integer, you do not go for double. That's what I was trying to say that, right? So here, you should return only D. Either you can return D or F till this is fine. So you can return D or F, it will work fine. Right. The second one, get S1. So again guys, one more thing here I wanted to tell you. When you have return type is equal to double, which data type you cannot return in the double? You cannot return here boolean. Right. In double you cannot return boolean because your boolean will not get converted to the double. Right, because data should be either true or false. So here, when you try to do so, you'll get a compile time because this is a data mismatch. Whereas double can accept your double integer, float, long, everything can accept except then boolean, a string, and character. This three cannot because this three data type is not compatible with the double. Whereas the other data type is a compatible. So what happens when you return any data type? Internally, type casting happens, data conversion happens, right? So double can actually, uh, can accept the data of type integer float a long short byte, but it cannot convert the data type of boolean character and string, right? So you need to, also you need to understand this, where you can return what. So here you cannot return boolean type, here you cannot return the string type, here you cannot return the character type. When you write C also, Okay, character you can return because character if you try to recollect 
the default value is equal to 0 and the size ranges from 0 to 6555 which we have seen that so character you can do that but you try to write a string you cannot you will get a compile time you can see that red mark here right whereas character you can return that why you are able to return character you might be wondering like why this guy just said that you cannot return and now I am saying that it's my mistake so what happens when you try to return the character basically the character has the ASCII value okay so whenever in Java when you write character uh, a uh, character C is equal to A which means this will get converted to the ASCII value and the ASCII value is nothing but the number it's an integer right so it will get converted to the corresponding ASCII value that is the reason double can accept that character but it cannot accept the string and boolean because for boolean and a string there is no ASCII value only for character you have ASCII value so yeah same thing happens with uh, a string so here in a string you should return only a string type of data you should not return other type of data so what happens see the plus point with the string it, it can take any data type so I can return here uh, let's say i okay I can return here i but I am getting a compile time error I am getting a compile time error but there is a way to do that okay what I can do let's say uh, in the string method I have a data of type integer but still I want to work on that I can write a string dot as I said a string is the class so I can write a string dot, dot value of i right because a string is the class so a string has one method called value of so when you say a string dot value of you can basically convert one data type into a string and this method is applicable for everything so this value of method if you look at let me show you so it can take boolean also character also double also float also so any data type you can convert to the string guys any data type okay I think only what you cannot convert in my understanding not in my understanding actually the string data type you cannot convert because what happens is when you try to convert a string data type why you should not use that the reason is because the data type is already a string so you should not do that if you, you look at here you have a boolean character double float int long object and all that a string is not required at all because already you have a string you don't need to convert that so what you need to convert other data type right so this is the way you can do that so there is a method called value of through which you can convert one data type into the string right this I wanted to cover into the string class chapter but I am just showing you for your understanding this I never meant to cover here okay so here uh, return type should be a string here our aim is to learn if method signature has some return type we need to return the data otherwise you will get a compile time now get i so get i actually it is an integer so you should return integer type of data again here if it is an integer it can take what are the data type it can take sort and byte because if you look at in integer type of data if I have to go here and if I have to write and if I have to show you see long is very high in size right after long what you have you have int right after int what you have sort and after sort what you have byte right so integer is lesser than long sort is lesser than integer byte is lesser than sort which means whenever your method has the return type is equal to integer you can you can accept sort also and byte also and whenever your method has the return type long the method can accept integer short and byte right that's how we need to understand again double double is greater than float right so whenever you have return type double it can accept float also right that's how it is let me come back to the eclipse so again this should return integer data type and this can accept sort and byte 
this is again float so again float can also take uh, long data type so I will tell you so you can write 90 L right so float can take long data type also but again the output will be you will not get 90 you will get 90.90.0 uh, because it will try to convert your data type into the float so if I have to do here get F and if I have to run this program see here 90.0 right so your float can take actually long type of data it can also take integer type of data it can it can also take sort byte and everything right but we should not use that because we should use that based on our requirement so uh, my suggestion is whenever you have float return type you better use uh, float data type you don't use uh, integer and long data type okay similarly for long use only long data type but again this guy can accept integer sort and byte character return character boolean return boolean so in boolean if you will try to change anything else you will get a compile time error if you will try to return 10 here it will not accept it you will get a compile time so if it is a boolean your return type should be either true or false so instead of 10 you can actually write here true this will work fine or you can actually write false it should match with your method right similarly uh, when 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 you have a method which has return type is a class type you should return the reference of the class so here example one we are creating it okay example one we are creating it so we are creating a variable of type class type right so here if I will try to return 10 I will get an error because it's not compatible right my method return type is not compatible so it should be always of class type again in case of array also you will try to return let's say 10.9 you will get a problem your always method return type should be of array type so either you create a variable and you return or you can uh, you can just go and write here new of this return new so you need to create uh, this array like this so we can write int a is equal to new of this new a of this sorry I don't need to write because I'm just creating the array so I can just write like this and return a so this is also fine this is one way of doing that and the another way is you can write int b is equal to new int and you can define the size so, so here you can store 6 data so what does mean by that you can write b of 0 is equal to 90 so like this this is another way of creating the same array right and you can return here b so either you return a or b both are same so that's how you know return type in java works and uh, this return type will be use, you will be using in all the programs going forward so you will understand better though you have confusion here it will get removed going forward but i believe that whatever explanations i have given whatever examples i have given you should not have any doubt Thank you guys, thank you for watching this.